Hello, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your March 2020 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. And before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You will get more readings from me, and I also have a bunch of exciting stuff going on. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter or stay tuned at the end for all of the updates. All right, without further ado, I'm going to lay this spread out and then we will get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first card that I have for you is B. So the, the word that came up as soon as I pulled this was teamwork. So don't be afraid of asking for help. Don't be afraid to either recruit people or delegate or start looking for other ways to get support because bees act in colonies. So they, they work together really, really, really well. And I think March is going to be a big collaboration month for you. Whatever that might look like. It might not come up in the ways that you're anticipating. It could be something that's a little bit more unexpected or something more unconventional. So just keep your eyes peeled for when you might need to delegate or actually work with somebody rather than trying to, doing, trying to do everything yourself. And then we have suppression by a star being by hands unworthy. So this is kind of like the feelings that you're experiencing are not a true reflection of the reality 100% of the time. So if you look at it as a feeling that's going on that might be triggered by the environment, that's not necessarily a true reflection of whether or not you're suppressed in some capacity or whether or not you're immobilized in some capacity. So you, this is a call to empower yourself and remind yourself that just because there might be some hiccups or obstacles in your environment doesn't mean you're being suppressed. It doesn't mean there are no options left. It doesn't mean anything like that. There's infinite solutions and infinite possibilities. So you need to open your mind to that. And then we also have story, weave a fable, share your heroic journey, tell yourself a conscious loving tale. So instead of staying stuck in the past or saying this is how it always is or how, this is how it always will be, you want to shift that into something that you do want to happen, that you do feel really good about, that you would like to actively create. Do not underestimate the power of your words and language. That's going to be the game changer for you this month is if you can get a handle on what is my internal monologue or narrative and try to shift that into something that works for you. Now the central energy for you in March is the star. Everything's working out, divine timing, things are as they should be. And the star is a reminder that things are working in your favor, even if you can't see them. So that's the one issue that a lot of people have with the star is that it's like, why can't I pick the fruit yet? Why don't I know where things are going to happen? Why don't I know how things are going to unfold? So you want to remind yourself that things are always working for you. Remember, tell yourself that story, and then you can relax into trusting that that's how it is. And then the crossing energy is the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is perhaps some resistance to trusting or resistance to things actually being in a good position. You might be looking for things to go wrong. You might be searching for things to nitpick at. Because the Four of Cups is about a good offer, not always a good offer, but offers being rejected. And so I'm kind of seeing this sitting on top of the star as you maybe turning away from the good things and instead focusing on issues. So that's why the story card is so important is this is going to feel disempowering unless you are actively working on calling things in and doing things in a way that feels really empowering for you. So the this is just a, a bit of advice that the cards are giving you. It's like, don't make assumptions about things going wrong. You don't need to look for problems constantly. It's just not necessary. So let yourself loosen up on that. 
And then what you have shifting out in March is the Nine of Cups. I think you've already made an ask. It's kind of like you've already asked for something, requested something, wanted something to happen. It just seems like the energy of the ask is happening. So whatever you've asked for, whatever you've set an intention for is happening, but you have to give it time to grow. You have to keep watering the plant. When you make a decision, you have to stick to it and keep watering that plant until it grows into what you desire. So don't throw in the towel too early. Don't get sucked into a story of it being an endless struggle. And remember that asking for something, and I've said this before, asking for something and complaining are two different things. So if you're complaining about circumstances, you're perpetuating that. If you're asking for something, if you're making a decision about what you get to have, that's completely different energy. So make sure you're asking, not complaining. And then the oncoming energy is the high priestess. Use your intuitive hits to guide you. That's going to serve you the best in March. You know, Pisces season is really going to let you tap into that more so. And the high priestess is just reminding you that if you're following your guidance, if you're listening to the nudge, if you're listening to the parts of yourself that are really wanting to be expressed and you're taking divinely guided action, you're not going to go wrong. I promise you. So that's the main piece of oncoming energy that you want to carry with you is you're going to get to where you want to go just so long as you listen to that intuitive nudge. The outward manifestation is the hermit. So this is a strong month of energetic work. More so than anything else, I'm seeing that the hermit is a true reflection of you needing to do the internal tuning. You leaning into yourself, trusting yourself, making modifications internally with the story that you're telling, the energy you're embodying, all of the pieces that are lining up for you. It, this is going to be supported by you kind of coming into confidence about your internal state. So if you're confident about the energy you're embodying, then the desire has no choice but to arrive. So if you're saying, you know, everything in my environment is telling me no, or no, I've been waiting forever. It's like that, well, that's the reflection of your internal state. If you keep telling yourself a story about how you're waiting and it's taking forever, well, then guess what? God is going to say yes, and you're going to be waiting, and it's going to take forever. So you're in charge. It's like write the rules for yourself. Let's see what's going on in the subconscious. We have death. So this is a rebirth card, a growth card. So it really is about doing the internal work to shed all of the, the thoughts and mindset pieces that are not serving you this month. It's time to nix them. And it, it does take some work, right? It's not an overnight process, but it's just chipping away at identifying what am I telling myself? What is the story? What's the energy that I'm holding? And then actively transforming that. The advice for you in March is the Five of Cups. This is very similar to the Four of Cups, at least the message that I was picking up on as far as if you're only focusing on the hiccups, if you're only focusing on the energy of waiting, then that is what will grow. So the more intentional you are about where you're putting your focus, your attention, and your energy, the better off you're going to be. Now to clarify this card, since it is in the advice position, this is the Ten of Swords, so Ten of Winter, and it's it's very similar to the let go, let it die, rewrite the story. You, just because you think it or just because historically that's what you've experienced, it doesn't mean that that has to be true in the future. But the more you believe that that's always how it's going to be forever and always, that's when you're going to run into trouble. So it's just like stay ahead of the curve and understand when these things come up for you. That's the very thing that you're trying to shift and evolve out of. External influences for March. We have the Two of Swords. And I think the, the cards are kind of playing with you a little bit. I mean that in a good way. Like it's it's just a reflection of, nope, you're going to have to exercise faith. You're going to have to practice not knowing. You're going to have to practice not seeing what's in the environment. And redirect your focus to your internal state, your internal energy. What are you embodying? Stop focusing so much on 
the the little things that might be causing some friction. It's not worth your energy. So you need to be extra conscientious of where is it going and what am I doing with it? Because I think it's almost like you're more powerful than you realize. And so you might be wielding it in ways that aren't working for you. So that's why this, this month is really important for you to get internal, do some internal refining, listen to your intuition, and hold the faith even if you aren't seeing things yet. Let things grow. Let things unfold. Let the pieces fall into place. The hopes and fears, we have the emperor. So there's definitely some impatience coming off of this card just because that's the fear of the emperor is like not being able to make it happen. And I'm getting, of course, it's like, that's not what the star has to say. The central energy is saying, yes, things are working out. But the fear of what if it doesn't, what if, what if, what if, that's all old programming that you're going to be shedding this month. If you so choose, you're you're more than welcome to believe the old sob stories that your ego shadow self wants to tell you, but it, it's always a good time to rewrite those for yourself and tell yourself a new story about what's going on. And the emperor, I'm also getting the flip side, like the hope side is confidence, like that regained strength and energy and vitality in knowing what you do have the ability to create. You already have the skills. It's like, just put them to use. And then the outcome is the queen of cups. So this is nourishment, being really clear on getting your needs met. I'm going to clarify this as well. You guys know I don't accept those cards very often at all. So to clarify the Queen of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups. So understand that whatever you're dealing with right now is kind of a, it, it has many heads, many angles that you're going to be coming from. And it's, it's not just about the one thing. It's like you're going to need to cover more bases than just the one factor. I know that sounds kind of elusive, but it's like rather than narrowing your focus, understand that the work you're doing this month bleeds into everything. It's not just about one fixation. It's kind of like this is applying to how you do one thing is how you do everything. I don't totally believe in that rule, but that seems to be what's coming up for you in the month of March is how you're doing one thing is also leaking into other areas of your life. So it's like, get really clear on what you're needing, what you're wanting, what your desires are communicating to you, and take more of a holistic approach to those desires. It's not just about one, it's about satisfaction, it's about fulfillment across the board. All right, let's get into the timeline. First, second, third, and fourth quarter of the month. So the first quarter of March, we have the King of Crystals, courage, commitment. This is that that decision or that ask that I was talking about here with the Nine of Cups. Now, it's never too late. It's not like there's a good time to ask and a bad time to ask. It has more to do with your clarity and focus. So if you feel like you haven't been asking, but you've been complaining, this would be the time to make a clear defined ask that you can get behind and let that be what motivates you and drives you in the month of March. The second quarter, we have the two of shells, union, harmony. This is great for those of you who are focused on partnership. This could also be collaboration, as I mentioned, with the B. The two of cups is a collaboration card, like needing support, needing help needing comfort and getting those things from the connections that you have. And so I think that the second quarter is going to be a bit more um, sensitive than the beginning. The third quarter, we have the shaman, divine wisdom, spiritual power. This is highlighting the high priestess in large part. These cards have really similar energy when I'm looking at them. And it's like your intuition might be really, really intense during that third quarter. And you might get really clear steps, really clear guidance, really clear understandings of where you're heading, what you're doing, what your focus is, and how things are unfolding. That's why I think you have the two of swords right here. It's like, nope, nope, nope. Ignore the environment, focus on your energy. That's going to serve you better than anything you're looking at outside for yourself. 
So use your intuition, use your creative ability, put your energy where you want it to go and just trust that hardcore. And then the fourth quarter, we have the page of crystals, ideas and discipline. Yep. So this is flowing perfectly. Let me explain. You've asked, you've set your intention, you've gotten clear on what you want. You're recruiting the help, you're asking for the support, you're, you're getting the nourishment that you need wherever that's coming from. Then you're listening to your intuition and as you do that, the inspiration and the ideas is what helps you stay disciplined and focus in on aligned action. And so that's actually what's making this happen. It could be partnership, it could be career related, it could be whatever you've been asking for. Again, the ask is kind of ambiguous because it's going to be different for each and every one of you. The focus, whatever that star card is for you, is going to vary between people. All right, now let's do a three card pick. You're welcome to ask a question, ask for guidance, ask for clarity, whatever you need. Just tune in to whichever card is calling to you. Card number one, we have the six of pentacles. So reciprocity, give and take. What you get is what you give. In large part, there's a huge level of reciprocation that's happening. If you pick this card, I would look at how much are you getting from the situation, relationships, investment, situation, whatever. And then also, are you finding things getting starved out in your environment because you're not investing aligned energy in the things that you want. So you might be overly stingy, you might be holding back too much, or you might be being overly generous. Card number two, we have the emperor. Lean into stability yourself first. So it's like, rather than, again, we don't want to focus on What's going on outside of me? If we do that, we're always going to find things that are going to knock us off balance and make us feel, well, crappy. So your job is to find the stability within yourself. Find the grounded energy within yourself. Create a route for yourself that's always available to you no matter what's going on. Lean into this more and that is going to really, really support you. Card number three, we have the two of pentacles. Take your time with your decision making. I'm getting that there's like, there's no rush. I think you might feel as though something is a rush and it's not. And so you want to lean into your intuition again. Like that's where I would go with the clarity and alignment is just figure out what am I needing to do with this energy or what is it that's going to support me? What is it that's going to be in alignment with me at this point in time? The Two of Pentacles is helping you figure that out. Just don't, um, there's, there's no need to rush. I would say just lean into your intuition and let that, let that support you. Let that clarify things for you. You already have the wisdom. You already know. It's just about getting quiet enough to hear it so that you can make that decision or you can find clarity between the two things and it's going to make your direction feel a lot easier and more stable. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everybody. I really, really appreciate you more than you could possibly know. And I do, as I said in the beginning, have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. I have a manifestation class that's coming out. I have just so many things in the works. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Onyx Healing and sign up for my newsletter to get the best prices, stay up to date, the best time slots for all of the stuff that I have coming. And until next time, have a a beautiful, beautiful March, everybody. I am sending you so much love. If you need to submit a prayer request, you are more than welcome to do so at onyxhealing.com. All of the links for everything is in the description box below, as well as the, a list of all of the decks that I've used today. So you're welcome to check that out if you liked any of the decks that I've used. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.